What's up guys, this is The Honest Outlaw here, and today I've got another budget gun for you. This is going to be a series we're going to do leading up to a revamp of a budget pistol uh, list that I'm going to be doing. I did a top five budget guns list a few years ago. It doesn't quite hold up to today's standards since there's been a whole bunch of really good budget guns. So we're going to do a budget gun 2020, and starting off with that, uh, we're going to be testing this Stoger STR9. And one of the reasons why I wanted to get my hands on it was because it was a requested item, but I'm also getting a lot of questions and a lot of messages lately especially what should I get for my first handgun what's a cheap nine millimeter that I can pick up that's easy to use things like that so we're gonna have a lot of these on the channel here in the next few weeks and again leading up to another top five list but the Stoger STR 9 was a gun that came out in 2019 it is a striker fired nine millimeter polymer frame pistol uh, with a full rail here which is pretty nice. A four and a half, or I think it's like a four and a quarter inch barrel, uh, similar to kind of a commander size 1911. And it's got a full size grip that holds 15 rounds in the magazine. It has three dot night sights that has a pretty good sight picture in my opinion. I like when sights are not squared. I like when they're rounded in a little bit. It kind of captures your eye towards the front sight, which is what you're supposed to be focusing on anyway. And the three dots is an advantage over something like a Glock. Now it also comes with front slide serrations and rear serrations that are very usable. They're very big and they're very deep and they work really well. Same takedown as a Glock. Uh, it has a reversible uh, magazine release for you lefties out there. It's got back straps as well, although I don't personally have them. We'll talk about why in a second. It's got some decent texture. It's got a pretty good trigger undercut, and the trigger is heavy. I would say around five and a half, six and a half pounds. Uh, heavier than the Canik we tested a little while ago, but it is still a pretty good trigger, especially considering if you're going to compare it to something like a Glock. There's a couple different types of the STR9. Uh, this is the cheapest version, and uh, this version is the $200 version that came with one back strap and one 15 round magazine. I got this from uh, Shields, and I got it for uh, $200 straight out the door. Now these guns can go anywhere from 150 I've seen all the way up to 350 or 400 depending on what quality, uh, or I should say what package you get. Some of them come with three back straps, some of them come with night sights, some of them come with an optics mount, believe it or not. You can get one of these with optics ready with night sights and three back straps and three magazines for under $400, uh, making this a pretty good buy if it's reliable and accurate, and that is what we're gonna find out now. All right, so let's take the Stoger, and we'll just shoot a little bit here. That didn't take very long. <laughs> Fucking Freedom Munitions. Freedom Munitions is the worst ammo, and do not buy it. I have some left over. That's what we're using in the zombie apocalypse, and I promise you, you will regret buying it if you do. Yep, this is unusable. All right, so now we've got Seller and Bellet here. I tried to use some of my reserve ammunition, uh, the uh, Freedom Munitions, and Freedom Munitions 115 or 147 used to be quality ammo, but lately it's failed in just every gun that I've tried, so I would really suggest that you stay away from it. Seller and Bellet seems to work well in everything. <laughs>
$200 gun, that's pretty impressive. I'll say. All right, so now we got this puppy out of long range, about 80 yards here. Let's see how we do. I took a couple shots to get on target, but once we're on, we're on. I'm shooting on the far right side of the target, which leads me to believe that these are windage adjustable, and it looks like they're just a hair off. You can see there's a little bit more space here than there. It just means that the sights need to be drifted just a little bit. All I do is unscrew that set screw, give her a little tap a -roo, and uh, we'll be on. A little what? A little tap, tap, tap a -roo. Happy Gilmore, come on now. So the Stoger STR9, in my opinion, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, we shot 300 and some rounds today, and we had one failure. And uh, well, we had some initial failures right off the bat, but that was all freedom munition ammo, ammo related. Uh, that happens with every gun I shoot that bulk ammo out of for some reason. But once we switched to the selling billet, no problems except for one, and that was a failure to extract, which isn't uncommon with this uh, type of cheap I don't want to say cheap, but it kind of is, right? $200 for a 9mm is a cheap price. Uh, you seem to be getting a pretty quality gun, however. Uh, it was actually more reliable than I've had so far with either of the Canic series, which are more expensive than this, usually where you find them. Uh, the gun comes with a decent amount of features, from front slide serrations to three dot sights to a pretty decent trigger, uh, reversible magazine release, good trigger undercut. Doesn't require much, in my personal opinion, except for maybe a set of $20 Talon grips would help out. Uh, quite a bit, at least for me personally. I would probably go the way of getting a couple more magazines, whether that be getting the upgraded gun that comes with three magazines or two magazines or whatever it is, or just simply finding aftermarket, aftermarket magazines online, uh, if they're even still available. But this is a really good gun. And for my, in my personal opinion, for somebody that's a newer shooter or somebody looking to get into a handgun for the first time, which uh, first, first gun buyers are going way up these days, uh, this is a great gun to go for. It's not the only gun I would go for. Uh, others in there, there's plenty of others in there as well, like the Gen 1 m ps the Glock 19, the Canic, uh, uh, pick a Canic, really. But any of those guns in the budget class will stack up well against this, but this is gonna be cheaper, and it's in my opinion, so far at least, just as reliable and just as accurate. I had no problems hitting with this at 80 yards, and uh, overall, for the money, it's an excellent firearm. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Please support your local homeless shelters and remember to recycle. I'll check you later. Oh, and I do want to mention that we will be doing a thousand round review of this gun, uh, hopefully later in the month, but I wanted to get this out here so people can see this gun and see uh, uh, at least a couple of different buying options in case you see one of these in a case at your local gun store and you're looking for a new gun to protect your house with, not a bad option.